Chris the Bergeron zone. Don't forget the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. So, so if I if I am that patient and I want to appeal, I, I can do it with a phone call, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And but you've just described what sounds like it's going to be on a piece of paper. It's going to be this this kind of explanation describing the kind of care that I need. So how will how does that play? When, when do I call and then the people I call tell me send everything in to such and such an address? And and can you give us a sense of what the timelines are and stuff like that? You, you yeah. do have the opportunity to submit written materials. Yeah. Although the provider has to give the records to the um, Mass Pro in Massachusetts case or Qualadime in Connecticut. I see. So the records have to come from the provider. The provider has to send them in for you. What the patient can do for themselves is mm -hmm. get talk to the doctor and get the doctor on your side. The doctor needs to prescribe the skilled services and uh, needs to explain, you know, why you need them. And, and lots of times what will happen is uh, a home health agency will call the doctor and say, the person, this patient's not going to improve, Medicare's not going to pay for it, so discharge them from home health. And what the patient or their family, whoever their advocate needs to do, is to, to call the doctor and say, look, my mom had a stroke. She's just starting, getting started with therapy. Maybe she had an infection and it kind of slowed her down for a few days. But you need to, to get the doctor to make sure that he keeps those orders in place. And then, um, you know, and if, if the doctor can send a statement in, you know, just a quick statement, that, that helps. What often happens, though, is, um, you know, you may go to Mass Pro, they may agree with the provider and you get mm -hmm. denied. And that should, you should get an answer within 72 hours. So from the time that you call, they'll yes. typically turn that answer around back Very quickly. quickly. I see. And then if you get a denial at that level, if Mass Pro gives you denial, then there's another place that you can call to get a further review. Mm -hmm. And you should do that. And we're used to always just, we tell people to keep appealing. Right. Um, and especially at the second level, again, resubmit, you know, your doctor statements. You get, you know, you'll have a few more days to kind of gather everything up. I find that, you know, when I'm talking, to, helping a client, um, often if I call the doctor's office and get that nurse, who is the doctor's right-hand person who knows what's going yep. on. That person can help you craft, you know, the, the right, you know, letter or language. They can put it in front of the doctor to sign, and then you can submit it to the, for the appeal. But you don't even have to submit anything to the appeal. The, the family can submit something to the appeal. Right. I often tell people, you know, if your goal is to either stay at home or to leave the nursing home and get back home, let people know what your goals are. Um, you know, that can be very helpful in setting the stage and explaining, you know, who you are. Because the big thing about GIMO is uh, it should be an individualized assessment. You know, part of the thing we're saying somebody is not improving and they don't get, they don't, you know, they don't get Medicare coverage anymore, that's a rule of thumb. And Medicare and healthcare isn't based on rule, rules of thumb. It has to be an individualized assessment. And that's what you're asking for. And, and could, would you anticipate, I know that Sandy is, in, you know, increasingly working as a geriatric care manager. Mm -hmm. Do you, you, would you anticipate folks who are geriatric care managers starting to advocate, act more as the advocates in these cases? I, yeah, I and, think and, everybody would, in healthcare, when you're sick, when you're, you yeah. know, you're, you're having a hard time, you need an advocate. And whether, you know, if you don't have family members who are either good at that or they're busy doing, taking care of you, you know, having uh, somebody who, you know, professional, who geriatric care manager who can intervene yeah. on your behalf, that that's, yeah. you know, and you can essential. And try the Medicare Advocacy and Project as well. That was my um, lead in. Yeah. <laughs> so t t can you talk a little bit about that? Because as you had mentioned, you worked for them before you came down here, Yes, right? yeah. So you can, um, uh, you know, the it's very limited resources, but the, the reason they're there yeah. um, is to help people with Medicare coverage issues. And it is part of the um, legal aid program in yeah. Massachusetts. Um, so the services they provide are free. They can't take every case, as I mentioned, this, the, their resources are limited, but you can certainly call and see if they might be able to represent you. Their central right. um, office is their Boston office at Greater Boston Legal Services. Um, mm -hmm. You can call Greater Boston Legal Services, tell them you have a Medicare issue, and you should get screened through the Medicare advocacy um, program, and then that would be referred to whichever office in the state handles your area. And so, and, and so in the short run, it may very well be that they will be the best people to work with you. In the, in the longer run, hopefully one of the things that we can all be working on in Massachusetts is trying to develop a real 
system of advocates that can be helping people who are in the middle of these crisis situations and that's not what they understand how to do. They just know that they've got a real issue to really help people to be able to deal with this. And I think, um, I think we all owe a tremendous debt to the Center, of Medicare, for the Center for Medicare Advocacy for what has just happened. It is about to be, as I had mentioned, this could be huge, 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 right? For a lot of my clients with Alzheimer's, for people with MS, for a whole bunch of people, Parkinson's. for folks with mm -hmm. Parkinson's, people we're dealing with all the time. So you need to know about this. For further information, you've got their, their um, website. Do you happen to know the Center for, or, or the, uh, the Medicare Advocacy Project? Is there a separate website that they have? Um, they, they do have a website, I think, which is connected with the um, Massachusetts with the, with the project. Uh, so, general sort of legal services right. website. Um, so, we'll, so we'll get that. We'll, we'll make sure that on this program there's a banner at the end. There will be a banner at the end of this program that will give you that information for, for like, who to contact. This is really, really important. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you all, and uh, uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you.